shades of dawn and I felt something else like I felt religious and I, I was able to connect to God whoever maybe my God is I'm not a Christian so my God is I'm Hindu so maybe any Hindu God or maybe Jesus whoever maybe but I was able to connect subscribe and press the bell icon to get more notification thank you so this is our first destination the gates of dawn so you can see saying we'll be arriving there now just so we'll can show when we are entering that Now we are now we are entering Gate of Dawn, which is the city gate of Vilnius. Now it's very religious place for Catholics. I have just come out of the gates of dawn and I felt something else like I felt religious and I I was able to connect to God whoever maybe my God is I'm not a Christian so my God is I'm Hindu so maybe any Hindu God or maybe Jesus whoever maybe but I was able to connect and this was magical and this was something special I'm not sure how other things about it but I felt it very different and Really I felt I was able to talk to God. This is the gates of dawn. But unfortunately I could not show you guys what is inside because it is kind of restricted and inside was tremendously beautiful. Not only beautiful, there was peace. There was something else and which I cannot show you right now because is restricted and it should be some things should not be taken in a camera so I'm okay with that this is the front side of it and we have come from the back we have come from that side and now we are walking along the road of old town of Vilnius Villainous is different. Villainous is special. Villainous is different in many ways. This is another beautiful church just right in front of me, and this is the old town road. And there is a Christmas market. This feels great. Villainous, I'm loving it. This sea is a beautiful Christmas tree, and Villainous is decorated with all Christmas things, and it is totally pumped up for Christmas right now all 
all set for Christmas. We are now walking along the streets of Vilnius. This is the market area behind me. Sitama, how do you feel about Vilnius? Oh, it's an awesome place. We're liking the yeah, old yeah. town. Sure, sure. beautiful church in Blumius. This is a place where I see a lot of artists and their good fantastic artwork. Just in the walk away. We are just coming down from the market area square. There is another market area it seems. Well this is interesting. It's an interesting oval. In fact, when I went to Prague, there was a little bird which was full of paintings, and now on some different different things, some artifacts. There were the things. Here you go. Here's the board. Yeah, I asked someone who lived here and she told me this wall is dedicated to all the artists, all the writers who lived here in Vilanis and uh, this is the dedication from the villagers, like from the Vilanians to them by any means of uh, artifacts. This is nice gesture. Another beautiful church and back of me. So, within here we see many church and chapels. We are going there. This is Saint Anne's Church. Because we don't have enough time, so we cannot visit all the churches. So, we are planning to visit the best attraction of Vilania. So, this is one of them. Saint Anne's Church. I'm going inside. Let's see. Let's see if they allow us to go inside or not. There's a wedding going on. They said. I met some people at the back who said like there is a wedding going on. Not sure if they allow us right now. We have reached to our next destination which is this one. This is the castle tower of Vilnius uh, which is Kediminus castle tower, tower of Vilnius and we cannot go really because this is the way to the castle tower and right now it's not so much and it's kind of closed right now. So we cannot go there but never mind we at least came here we saw the castle 
so guys when you are coming if you are coming in summer then you should try this one because from there you will get to see the whole city view which you missed we are going next to Vilnius cathedral which is 3 4 minutes walk from here So currently I'm walking along the street of Snowy Street of Vilnius and going to the Vilnius Cathedral. I don't have much time left now. It's already 3:30. Here we are sitting. Here we are. Our good luck is not yet sunset. So we are good to go another two spots at least today and then tomorrow we'll try Cover the rest of the attraction, and also tomorrow we will do traffic again. So, so many exciting things are coming up. Stay tuned to my channel, and today I'm not going to close this channel episode with this one. I'm going to cover some more spot. So, stay with me. Right now, I'm at the square area. This is the main square of Vilnius. and you see right behind this is the villanius cathedral i'll show you the 360 degree view of this place and this is amazing this is the 360 degree view of this this is the christmas tree nicely decorated for christmas villanius is getting ready for christmas well This is the cathedral. This is a very big cathedral, very big. So overall, so much excitement, so much exciting place, and this city is something different. This is special, and this is fantastic. I'm kind of enjoying Vilnius, and this city has its own flavor. I mean, every Baltic countries I see has its own flavor, which is not exactly other European city. Not exactly North American cities. It has its own beauty. This place is also called. Cathedral Square, and because like you see the main cathedral, like Vilnius Cathedral, at my back, and then that that the other building is this this building is Palace of Grand View, and the Cathedral Square itself is a major attraction, and then you see Cathedral and the Palace of Grand View. So three major attractions in one place. Fantastic, and this place is actually the heart of the city, and This is the major attraction of Vilnius. So once you come to this place, you kind of say that I kind of got twenty or thirty percent of Vilnius. This is the main spot. We are going to three crosses now, which is kind of a like twenty minutes walk from the central cathedral square. We are about to reach there, which has a very historic significance. Uh, someone, some legend, find. This three wooden crosses on the top of the mountain in 16th century, and from then it has become a what do you call a specific iconic symbol of Vilnius. And since then they try to maintain those wooden crosses, uh, wooden crosses, but uh, it could not last so much. So in uh, 19th century they replaced with a permanent one. And we are going to see that. So wooden crosses, unfortunately, we can't see that. So let's go. This is the surrounding of the place, and we have to go to the top of this mountain. Since it's a kind of walk, a long walk, you can say. This 
the trail was very slippery uh, it's not that snow over there so if it is like very like snow is full of snow then it would have not been very slippery but right now it is very slippery and it is snowing so we are thinking not to go there because it's already kind of dark i'm not sure if it is coming in my video because is putting its own intelligence and making these things sleep. I was kind of sleeping. So we are not opting for that. It's about to dark in five minutes, so not going there. I will show you the free process from here because it can be seen from here as well. So I will show you from here. This is the tree process which I was talking about on top of the mountain. This is the night view of St. Anne's Church which we just visited and now we are going to the market area again. In short, night life of Darius. Let's see. This is the old hotel from 1677. Wow. So old. Town Hall Square and that is Villainia's Town Hall. It is all decorated for Christmas and looking really nice. All decked up and fully charged up for Christmas. Looking something different, looking special. Very nice. This is a Christmas tree. Wow. And this is the whole square area. This is the town hall square and this is the surrounding of the town hall square. Now we are at the Christmas market. I'm not sure I'm audible. Not much. This is the Christmas market. We are entering the Christmas market. Let's see what we get over here. Some delicious food. Yes, that is the 
is the church of Saint Casimir in Vilnius, which is just next to the town hall square. This is also a very big church. We are going to take some thing, something for dinner, maybe a pizza or burger or something like that. Because we don't found any typical visit for Iranians like Indian. So we are thinking to go for several options, burger or sandwich or pizza or something like that. We'll see, see you guys tomorrow. Then bye bye. If you like this video, please like, comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.